they don't handle no very well they don't handle criticism very well they don't handle refusal very well yeah they they become violent hello everyone i hope everyone is doing good and taking good care of themselves so today i'm going to talk about the overt malignant narcissist or the grandiose malignant narcissist and before i get going i would request you all to like share subscribe the channel hit the notification bell so you guys are updated whenever we put out a new content so as we know that these grandiose folks i mean the grandiose narcissists they are big time into you know uh, showing off their success their wealth their money their knowledge and uh, their grandiose life and lifestyle they're big time into you know showing all of that and they do this in attempts to safeguard their insecure self that is on the inside so these uh, grandiose narcissists are big time into bragging they are big time into flaunting and that's how it is these grandiose narcissistic folks are also big time into controlling their supply they know it all and that's how things are these grandiose narcissistic folks don't handle criticism very well and they're going to throw rage at you these grandiose narcissistic uh, folks might not be physically violent but when we talk about the grandiose malignant narcissists they are the most dangerous ones because they exhibit a huge amount of antisocial traits in their behavior as well so that is what makes them very dangerous these grandiose malignant narcissists are very difficult to be with it's it's either their way or there is no other way and if if you call out their bad behavior or if you say no to them they are going to you know openly slap you in public they are going to hit you and beat you in front of the others they won't hesitate in you know uh, uh, smearing about you in front of the others often what happens is that these narcissistic folks they smear about you behind your back but uh, when we talk about these uh, grandiose malignant narcissists as a, how i mentioned that they have this anti social traits they are not scared of authority and they really don't care of authority and all of that um, laws and rules are not applicable to them that's how they uh, think and feel and process so they they might just uh, you know outrightly slap you in front of the others if if you say no or if you don't agree to them they are going to physically get violent and they feel entitled because you are their supply and they feel entitled to do anything and everything with you if you are hurt if you are not hurt if if there is a lot of embarrassment who cares this grandiose malignant narcissist doesn't care the grandiose malignant narcissist doesn't hesitate in showcasing his or her power over uh, you yeah. when we look at these uh, grandiose uh, malignant narcissists whenever a narcissistic injury is caused to them uh they they just go physically violent yeah they might uh, land up in a physical you know violent outburst they might just hit you they might uh, slap you they might do what not they really don't care what others think yeah because they feel entitled and it's their right to teach you you know the lesson the right way now let me tell you it is very difficult to come out of uh, you know relationship with these uh, uh, grandiose malignant narcissists because they are not going to let you go easy yeah in some of the cases i mean it's it's quite life threatening as well when yeah. you are in relationship with this uh, grandiose uh, malignant narcissist they they are in their own trip they are in their own world where they know it all they are most powerful and they are not scared of anyone anything yeah the usual grandiose folks are scared yeah of a, you know a bad name they are scared of being called out yeah that's how these uh, narcissistic folks are they are scared of being called out you know for their bad and abusive behavior but the grandiose malignant one are absolutely okay with it they are okay with uh, all that label that you throw at them they have a lot of this anti social traits inside of them yeah and uh, that is what uh, makes them 
you know, uh, grandiose, malignant. They are flamboyant. They are quite outgoing, but they are very erratic. They they are very violent. So coming out of relationship with these uh, uh, grandiose, malignant narcissists is very difficult. You know, it, it's life threatening. So you you have to. Uh, you know leave them when they are not there you have to come out of the relationship when they are not there because they they don't handle no very well they don't handle criticism very well they don't handle refusal very well yeah they they become violent yeah and and they become violent to such an extent that they can you know cause serious injury and damage to you and they really don't care yeah uh, they might be behind the bar but they just don't care and they know that uh, what they need to do to buy their way out of the prison and uh, you know they are, they are never going to change they feel entitled they think that this is the way and that is how it should be so this is who they are so it's it's a mixture of this malignant narcissism and grandiose narcissism but this one is the craziest one the uh, grandiose malignant narcissist are the craziest one they are the worst ones they are the you know bullies they are the ones who hurt people and they just don't care and uh, you know they they have a lot of uh, anger issues they they can't you know uh, manage their mood well there is a lot of dysregulation inside of them so i mean whether you have a, a grandiose malignant uh, partner or if you have a grandiose malignant parent, you know how things are. They are very brutal. They are very ruthless. They can be physically violent. And uh, I have seen a lot of these uh, uh, grandiose malignant, uh, you know, parents. They beat their kids ruthlessly, and they really don't care. And when people tell them, "Why are you doing this? Why are you doing it so mercilessly?" and uh, all what they say is that I'm doing it uh, in his best interest. I'm doing it in my kid's best interest. And uh, that's my kid. I can do anything with him. Yeah. So that's how entitled they feel. They are not scared about the bad name they are earning. They are not scared about, uh, you know, people judging them to be violent and all. And they are not scared that you are, you know, getting physically damaged. They are not even scared of that. Yeah. All what they want is to vent it out by being physically violent. And that's it. What happens next is none of their concern. They don't do things fearing consequences. You need to understand um, this type, this uh, uh, grandiose malignant type, they really don't do things, you know, uh, thinking about the consequence. They don't fear consequence. They think that they deserve that special treatment and uh, no law or rule is applicable for them. Yeah they make their own law and rule and they'll follow that yeah. so it's 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 very damaging to be with a grandiose malignant narcissist they are bad as parent they are bad as friend they are bad as partner they are bad you know in every ways so as we know that uh, covert malignant narcissist the grandiose malignant narcissist they are very similar to you know the covert narcissist and the grandiose narcissist what makes them different is the antisocial traits yeah that is what makes them into a malignant version they really don't care whether you are hurting or you you are being damaged they really don't care all what they care about is you know the revenge all what they care about is um, how well or how efficiently they are able to teach you a lesson yeah so they, they as it is don't respect the law and order they really don't uh, you know fear authority and uh, they, they can go to any extent they can even physically damage you they can do anything yeah to teach you a lesson and they are not scared of earning a bad name they are not scared of being labeled as the uh, bad person yeah so this is what uh, you know uh, grandiose uh, malignant uh, narcissists are like in case if you would like to add in something you can always comment below and uh, please don't ignore the red flags and take care of yourself stay away from narcissists and 
Lots of love and blessings to all of you. Bye.